Happening now, day two of former HPD officer Gerald Goins' murder trial. It is underway. He is accused of lying to get a no-knock warrant, and that led to a deadly shootout at a home off Harding Street in 2019. Devon Raming joining us live from outside the Harris County Criminal Courthouse, where several witnesses are testifying today. Devon. Well, sir, man, cross-examination of one of the state's witnesses, a Houston police officer, is underway as part of this trial, which has been five years in the making. Now, Goins is accused of lying to secure a no-knock warrant for a drug raid that led to the shooting deaths of Dennis Tuttle, Regina Nicholas, and their dog at their home on Harding Street in 2019. In opening statements yesterday, prosecutors told jurors that Gerald Goins lied repeatedly for two weeks about investigating the home in order to receive the the warrant executed by Goins. Legal experts say a felony was committed during the raid and that the officers were acting on a tip that turned out to be invalid, calling the no-knock warrant fraudulent. The defense argues the couple died because they didn't follow police commands. The prosecution, though, argues Goins' lies caused all of this. Goins is being held responsible for the deaths of Tuttle and Nicholas. Even though he didn't pull the trigger that day, he, along with four other officers, were shot, but they all survived. Now, Goins is also facing federal organized crime charges, and the DA says they've reopened several cases linked to him. Live in downtown Houston, Devon Raming, KHOU 11 News. All right, thank you, Devon. A case Houston is following.